a wall on London's famous Brick Lane, a well-known spot for promoting street art, became the canvas for Chinese propaganda. The site was painted with graffiti echoing China's Communist Party ideology. According to reports, Chinese students studying in the UK spray-painted the wall over the weekend and live-streamed their actions on a popular Chinese lifestyle app. The graffiti was made with 24 large red characters that read prosperity, democracy, civilization, harmony, freedom, equality, justice, rule of law, patriotism, dedication, integrity, and friendliness, the core socialist values outlined by the CCP and President Xi Jinping. However, the red graffiti which echoed President Xi Jinping's government propaganda did not last long before it got covered up by an onslaught of anti-China slogans. Within hours, the slogans were overlaid with references to the 1989 Tiananmen Square massacre, and phrases like Free Taiwan, Free Tibet and Free Uyghurs. Other phrases painted over the graffiti, which had stretched for over 100 meters along Brick Lane, included some are more equal than others, and no freedom in China. The act drew severe condemnation from netizens, and a war of words erupted with several rights groups and activists calling the move disgraceful. Hong Kong's head of rights group tweeted that, I utterly condemn the CCP thugs who defaced London's brick lane with their regime's wild hateful propaganda. Social media users asked if the students would dare to go to Beijing and write democracy and freedom. However, one of the students who did the graffiti said in his Instagram post that the piece didn't have much political meaning. He added that there is no question that the 24 characters are not only goals of China, but common goals for the world. But those against the graffiti argued that the artwork is nothing but part of the regime's hateful propaganda. In China, however, the artwork received praise on social media platforms. Calling the display a patriotic gesture, some netizens said they were proud of this kind of cultural export. However, the local council removed both the pro and anti-China graffiti on 7th August. <laughs>